Santosha is contentment. It's easy when things are going the way you want them to, but not so easy when they're not. You all know what the highest yoga is? Bear insult and bear injury with contentment, knowing that no one can take anything from you, that you are that immortal self, and that insults and injury are a product of ignorance. <clears throat> sometimes our own ignorance, sometimes the ignorance of whoever is insulting us, <clears throat> most of the time it's a combination thereof. And if we are able to step back and come back to our place of contentment, then we can allow our discrimination to actually work and we can actually solve the problem rather than just reacting and escalating the problem, whatever it was. Really at the basis of our yoga life or the yoga lifestyle is an ideal of simple living and high thinking. We try to simplify our lives as much as possible whereby we can experience happiness and contentment in all conditions. This is a real key to happiness, is contentment. And again, contentment is not just passively um, capitulating or living in denial or being abused or all of these. Um, it actually is based in a place of really supreme courage and humility that are blended together because you can only have true humility if you have courage and you can only have true courage if you have humility. And uh, again, this combination is bringing us to a place of contentment. So in Bhagavad Gita, Arjuna's contentment doesn't come from running away from the battle and um, hiding someplace, but it comes from searching deep with him in himself and really honoring everyone who was involved in this battle, realizing that the life, the struggle itself, that life itself is a struggle. And if we come to the life, this life with devotion, if we come with respect, if we come with a sense of, of acting from out of duty rather than acting out of selfishness, then this life is, is an opportunity to experience the highest reality. So the contentment is a prerequisite for samadhi, which is, means a prerequisite for meditation. There's no meditation if you don't have contentment, um, which is going to be a lot of other things. So all of the other, all of the other niyamas have contentment as a portion of that practice. So purity, contentment is part of purity. Again, if you're just um, obsessively um, thinking that you're a terrible person and you're trying to be pure as a way of escaping from, from uh, your own issues, then it's not really purity, it's obsessiveness. Um, tapas, there's really no contentment without tapas. If we are not content, then there is we have some issues that we need to work on. And tapas is recognizing our issues and doing the necessary to develop the strength to transform those um, dysfunctional, mental, physical um, con constructions of our, of, our, um, of our life and transforming them, changing our habits changing our attitude. So where is the contentment <laughs> that, that, 
that foundation. Where is the contentment? Contentment is realizing that God alone is real. And all life is a manifestation of God.